Hey folks, River Bash 2008 on our way there right now. I don't remember how to get there, but I think I can figure it out, hopefully. Um, anyways, I don't want to take a lot of time with the intro and all that crap like I did last year. We'll show the setup and everything, but I want to get some gig footage because I only want a one-parter. But I just want to give you guys a real quick history. Um, last year was my first year of doing River Bash. Um, it was my first year I was out on my own. And it was actually started by another DJ, um, Jamie, I don't remember his last name, but he owns a company called Kaleidoscope Entertainment. Really neat website, too, if you ever uh, check it out. I'll have to put my, find the URL and put it up on the uh, description on this. But anyways, um, he, uh, he started it at a place called Riverview Park. They got kicked out of there because the city of Eau Claire's kind of dicks. And he moved it over to a buddy of his land that owns a place in Mary Dean and continue to do it there. The reason I got it last year is because he had a wedding booked for the day that they wanted to do it. So, um, and he had weddings actually all through August. So I was available. They're good friends of the guy that owns the property, is my wife's aunt and uncle. So uh, I got the connection that way and they wanted to be back for this year and I kind of think that it hurts Jamie's feelings a little bit, even though he says he's getting out of doing the DJ thing. Um, as far as systems go, I can't compare to his. He's got, um, really nice EV stuff. He's got like four, four 18s and four dual 15 horns and a set of 15 horns. I mean, it's just a huge system, big, a huge amount of power. Um, but that's the problem that they had with that is uh, the cops would get called you know, quite often. And, you know, I'm, I'm bringing, bringing out two QSC subs and uh, two 12 inch tops, calling her good. So it'll be loud where it needs to be and you don't need to have the cops called. So um, light show wise, He's, he's a little old school yet, he doesn't really, uh, especially if he's going to get out of it, he's not going to go LEDs, but he still wasn't even sold on the LED thing yet, but I don't think he's seen it either. He might be here, um, hanging out, I don't know. So, anyways, a um, little history of it, and uh, we'll see you guys after he gets set up and everything. The truck is beyond loaded, so, um, yeah, but we'll see you in just a bit. If you're easily offended, fast forward for like half a minute or so. Cause corn's playing. Just got set up. Kind of sound checking. One banner is our setup. There's our American DJ banner. I could have brought both American DJ banners to make it even. There's my beer. There's the stuff. Sleeper awakened, Brad. Hey, your idea works. We got a good low end out here. I got a couple of LEDs going. I don't know why the lasers are going, but. It's going. Now it's off. So here we are. We're just set up for this year. A couple color pals, a couple kitsas, four Intimidator 1.0 scanners, two uh, Starball LED DMX, one Quad Gen DMX, and one uh, Scorpion LGX laser. A couple of U3s pointed up on their steel in there. You can't see yet, you'll see it in a little bit. So. People are just getting back from the river. We're on a virtual DJ, so I better get back there. Not a lot of people here yet, though. There were for the float down. Here's our campers. I think this is some sort of a fire burner type deal. I saw some boobs on the way down on the river, though, which was rather cool. Supposedly, that school is haunted, but I guess no one's ever seen anything there. But supposedly, that is the abandoned school, which is haunted, which is now the town hall, by the way. Volleyball going on across the road. A few cars, but really not as many people as we thought. <laughs> Alright, before we get busy, let's look at what the light show looks like. That quad gem is freaking overpowering. My scanners. I have four, 250 watt scanners and that quad gem is like saying nope you guys aren't bright enough wow hey let's see let's see if i can even get that laser over everything let's put that laser on real quick i don't know if you can even see the laser but it's on that quad gem is just so bright and that quad gem is awesome That quad jump is just so overpowering.
there is the only reason that I have not sold my Kintas yet. Because they look so fucking cool. Man, they are awesome. this I guess. What I need to record? Just me, in general. Look at this okay. face. Just record it. Look at her face. High five. I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put it up for you though. I will get it up. We're a little ways away now. That's what we got. Not the biggest crowd ever. Kind of like last year. Not the biggest crowd ever. But, man, that quad jump's cool. I like it. It's way better in person than it does on here. So do those color bars, though. Believe me or not. You better believe me. I wouldn't lie. I wouldn't shit you guys. You guys are my favorite turds. <laughs> Hey folks, it's me. It's the next day actually. I'm already home and on my way to meet some people about a wedding. We're in the car wash with the Fiero. Um, you can see, you know, I replaced the sunroof seal when it was when I had it painted, and the old sunroof seal never leaked. This new one leaks. I'm hoping I figured out I got it set up now so it doesn't leak anymore. But we'll see. Whatever. Anyways, um, so yeah, River Bash was great. I had a fun time. Uh, had a real good time mixing. I don't get to do that much and mess around with virtual DJ and had a really fun time mixing and playing around with music like that. So, um, anyways, yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Any questions, comments, leave them below, please. And, um, yeah, hey, practice and enjoy. We'll see you guys later.